Hey everyone, I just did a huge um, Costco and Trader Joe's haul, so I thought I would share it with you. It's just a lot easier for me to do these in video form than in a blog because there's so much stuff. So this is going to be um, quite a bit of like the bulk of our groceries for the month of April. Um, and I'll do like in some fill-ins obviously with like produce and stuff. I didn't get a ton of fresh produce this time just because it's not really for this week. It's just kind of stuff that I needed like for the month snacks and breakfast and lunch type things and all of that so um yeah so I will just get started this uh starting back here I got two of the giant Costco size things of toilet paper um and the only reason I got two is just because they were on sale so um I prefer that brand over the Costco brand so I just stocked up um I forgot to mention too we're a family of six I have it's me and my husband and then we have a six-year-old a five-year-old and twin three-year-olds that eat like grown men so we buy a lot of groceries. <laughs> um, okay, I got some tuna. We've never had this kind before. Um, they stopped, I guess, stopped carrying the kind that we like, which was the skipjack tuna, but we'll try this and see. I got two, um, I don't know how many pounds these bags are, two bags of the organic gala apples. Three pounds each, so six pounds of apples. This fruit tree is just for um, what I'm taking for Easter. I got some bread. We got a big Costco bag of pita chips, which my kids love. I got um, four of the containers of Chobani. And again, these were on sale. They were actually buy one, get one free, which is the only reason why I got four of them. And they don't expire till like the end of May. So we'll go through those over the next couple of months. Um, I got these tortillas, which are like our absolute favorite. If you have not had these, they're so good. Um, they're uncooked, so you just throw them like in your pan and they heat up in like a couple minutes. They are really, really good. Just a few ingredients. Um, I can't remember if I said maple syrup, but this is, we really like this maple syrup and we were just about out. Um, we love, my kids love only the red bell peppers, so this pack that we get at Costco is perfect for us. Brussels sprouts, which I love. Um, I got stocked up on Kerrygold butter. Um, and then I just got some of the regular butter. Um, I use like the sticks more for baking or like in cooking. And I use this for like toast or things that we're like eating actual butter, I guess. <laughs> like not, not when we're mixing it in with something. Um, I got this giant bag of frozen broccoli. Um, we'll just keep that in the freezer for like an easy side for dinners. All of our kids like broccoli. I did the slices of Colby Jack cheese, which most of the kids like. I got um, the big bag of frozen mango chunks and um, the frozen strawberries. And we'll pretty much just use those for smoothies. Um, I did get a thing of sausage. A lot of times I buy the uncooked and just cook it, but these are really nice to have on hand for like fast breakfast stuff. Um, and then I got the frozen sweet corn. I have a couple of corn lovers in my house and it's definitely not corn season here. so. I went ahead and got that. I got four four bundles of bananas, which will last us, I don't know, a few days. My kids eat tons of bananas. Like, it is crazy how many bananas they eat. Um, I did, we got the big bag of tortilla chips. Again, those are one of our <clears throat> staples. We always like to have those on hand. That is upside down, but I got these um, protein drinks. I've never had these before, but I get, that's the brand of protein that I get. Um, that I make like protein shakes with after I work out, which I like. I figured with summer coming up, a lot of times we're on the go during the morning or like close to lunchtime, so that will be just an easy thing for me to grab and bring like in my bag or something. Um, we do cereal one day a week on Sunday, cereal Sundays, and so my kids get to trade off picking what kind of cereal we're getting, so I don't even know who picked this week, but they picked life. That will be, I mean, that'll last us for multiple weeks since we only have it once a week. And then the big old thing of oatmeal. My husband has oatmeal uh, basically every morning. And a few of the kids like it. And then we were just almost out of coconut oil, which that will last us again like, I don't know, four or five months a lot. I think the only thing I don't have pictured from Costco is dog food, which <clears throat> again, that will last us probably five or six months for a dog. So. Even though I spent about $290 at Costco, but a lot of this stuff will last us, like I said, the toilet paper, two or three months, um, coconut oil forever. A lot of this stuff will last us for more than a month or two. So 
that is Costco. Moving on to Trader Joe's. Over here, I'll start over here because I ran out of room. Um, my kids, we just got these last time, these little smoothies, and they're really good. Um, so I make smoothies at home a lot, but these are, again, just like a nice, quick, easy thing to grab when we're rushing out the door a couple mornings a week or something like that. So, um, and then we got the mango kefir, which I usually add to our smoothies, but my girls also really like to just drink kefir plain. Um, <clears throat> we're going to try this pulled pork for dinner one night. I have not had it, so I don't know if it's good, but I'm excited to try it. I got a bag of the colorful carrots. Um, we all really like these. They're good. Um, let's see. I got two packages of the uncured turkey bacon. I don't, I can't, I think we've had this once before and it's good. I usually get my turkey bacon at Costco and I just forgot it this time. Um, I got this salad that I'm probably just going to have for lunch tomorrow. We got the roasted red pepper hummus. Um, have not had that before either, but we, a couple of my kids really like hummus for dipping veggies and stuff in. I did the whipped cream cheese. I got these, um, animal crackers, which are a potty training bribe for my boys. So that's what those are. Um, I got... Uh, four packets of the, this taco seasoning mix. I haven't had this before, but the ingredients were quite a bit better than like just the typical taco seasoning, so we'll try it. I was out of chia seeds, and under there is hemp seeds. We add those to like smoothies or yogurt, stuff like that. Um, chocolate chips. This Harvest Grains blend. Um, I got that last month, and it was really good. It's Couscous, orzo, garbanzo beans, and red quinoa. And we mixed it with pesto, and it was a really good side dish. Um, we got some crescent rolls. I haven't had those before. We got biscuits. I have not had those before. I can't remember if I said sour cream. I feel like I didn't, but we got that. Um, some coconut milk, which, again, I like to add to smoothies. I got these turkey meatballs. Three of my four kids like meatballs, so I'll just make, like, a whole bag of these for lunch one day. So I got two packs of those. This cheese, unexpected cheddar cheese. Uh, I've never heard of it and I've never tried it, but there were some ladies standing in the dairy aisle talking about how this was the best cheese that they've ever had in their life. And they were like stocking up on multiple bricks of it. So I felt like I really needed to try it after that. So I will report back on how it is, but these ladies were like going on and on about how good this cheese was. So I really feel like I needed it. <clears throat> I got the everything but the bagel seasoning. Again, I haven't tried this, but everybody raves about it, so I felt like I needed it. So if you have, like, I don't know what to put it on, though, besides all I can think of is bagels. So I'm going to have to figure out what to put that on. We got some snap peas. I got um, three boxes of the, basically they're like yogurts, but the ingredients are quite a bit better. My kids really like these for like a side at lunch or something. Um, I got two bags of the plantain chips. These are super good. I like these. My boys will eat them. My girls are meh either way, but I love those. I got some of these potato pancakes. I had heard these are really good and they were out of them last time, so we'll try them and see just for breakfast one day. I got these veggie burgers just for myself. It's just like an easy throw it in the microwave or whatever for lunch for me. And then I got a pack of hash browns for breakfast one day. Um, I got two boxes of this jasmine rice. I usually um, just make rice up like on the stove top, but this will be really nice for when just I'm having um, like rice with some meat and beans or whatever else for lunch because um, they're smaller packs and you can just throw them in the microwave. So, <clears throat> and the only ingredient is rice. A lot of the ones that you make in the microwave have like added oils and other stuff. So I was excited about those. So I got two boxes of those. I think there's three pouches in each one. Um, I got more of the gluten and dairy-free pancakes. One of my kids is uh, dairy-free, so those are for him. I got this salt risotto last month, and it was so good. So I do about half a bag of this for lunch for myself um, and do like a couple of sides with it, but it's really, really good. We Last month I talked about how I had heard that this... I'm going to botched the name brioche or brioche I'm not sure bread it was I had heard that it was like the best bread for making french toast and um we tried it and it was really really good french toast so I'm gonna 
a lot of times my husband will make like Frenchies when we do breakfast for dinner. So, and then we'll probably do it like one Saturday morning. So I'm gonna freeze a loaf. Hopefully it stays all right being frozen. I got two more bags of cashews. This is, Trader Joe's is the only place I've been able to find cashews that aren't cooked in peanut oil and my oldest um, has a very severe peanut allergy. So that's the only place that I really buy them. And then I got um, some more dish detergent. I haven't tried this, but I have like <laughs> maybe a squirt left in what I had. So I just needed it. Um, hopefully it works well. And then I got some flowers. I don't usually buy like a ton of flowers, but every time I go to Trader Joe's, they're so cheap. It's like $3.99 for a bundle and it's nice to have fresh flowers around. So I got those and then we just needed some milk. So I got some milk. Um, but I think that's I'm pretty sure I got everything here and oh I spent about I think I spent $167 at Trader Joe's so for all this stuff like I said before this will last a lot of the Costco stuff will last us for more than a month and then I'll just fill in every week we have we bought a quarter of a cow a few months ago so we have a lot of beef in our freezer and then we also do Zacon chicken so we just got an order of chicken um, and we also do Zacon salmon so we have our freezer is pretty stocked with salmon, beef, and chicken already. So um, aside from like a few things here and there, I'll pretty much just be filling in with um, like produce and maybe like, I don't know, a little bit of dairy and stuff. So this is pretty much the whole thing. And um, again, we have a family of six, so this will be a good majority of what we eat for the month.